about is brought to you by L&M. L&M unlocks a new world of fresh smoking pleasure every time you light up. And now, our host, Rual Dahl. How are you? A lot of really heartrending letters have come in recently from ladies across the country, and they're all begging for a really good recipe. So let me tell you about Lady Winifred Rutel, the famous female explorer. You've heard of her, haven't you? I met her first just after she'd come back from India, where she'd been staying with some old Maharaj out there who just married his 79th wife. But how on earth did you get rid of the others, Lady Rutel had asked. Very simple, the Maharaj answered. I take the whiskers from a fully grown tiger and I chop them up into tiny bits. Then I sprinkle them onto her food like pepper. It's far neater than glass. It perforates the whole system and she's gone in a few days. What's more, the whiskers, being animal matter, dissolve completely soon afterwards. Pepper, my darling, Lady Rupel said, as soon as she got home. And since then, she's been happily married three more times. I'm not joking, this really does work. But where would we go to get tiger's whiskers, I ask you? All this has nothing whatsoever to do with our play, which is called Dissolve to Black by Irving Gaynor Nyman, and which is, of course, way out. Start fresh with l &M. Stay fresh. That's all it takes. An L&M, a light, and you unlock a new world of fresh smoking pleasure. You do away with dried out taste for good. The secret flavor seal. L&M's special way of moisturizing tobacco to seal in natural tobacco freshness and flavor. L&M burns slower, smokes cooler. So try fresh tasting, best tasting L&M with a modern miracle tip. Unlock a whole Well, speak up. Are you the replacement? Yes, I am. Okay. Come on up here to the control room. But where are you? All we? right, Harry. Take her by the hand. We haven't got all night. The control room is right up there. I didn't see all around. Well, we're rehearsing on the other side of the studio. My name is Bonnie Draco, unless you think Drake sounds better. 
I like Bonnie Draco. Is this your first job? Well, I've done some summer stock, but I guess that doesn't count. Well, if you have any questions, ask me. I'm Harry Wells, the stage manager. All right? Thank you. Start your cross when the killer says tonight. Not before, not a beat after. On cue. Can you remember that just once? Yes, George. <laughs> Likely story. Well? George, this is Bonnie Draco. Bonnie, this is George Carver, our director. Well, unless you think Drake sounds better. Look, honey, the girl you're replacing just didn't show today. I'll stay late and work with you, but we haven't much time to set you in the scene. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. You're a witness to a murder. They chase you and you get killed. No lies. We'll walk through the last part of your scene in just a minute. You just get killed and we dissolve. Right? right. Can I see that bit just before the girl is killed? That's you, Paul. Let's go now. What does he mean, dissolve? You are new, aren't you? Just watch the middle screen there. All right, let's see it now. Tonight. Tonight. Okay, and dissolve. There is your dissolve. The scene fades out and disappears. You've seen it done. Thanks. Dissolve. Well, you don't have to worry about it. It's all done electronically up here. You see, the technical director just pulls that lever there. I said, Miss Draco, we'll just have time to do it once before the others leave. So what do you want me to do? I want you to get on the set. Okay, let's start the scene. We come up on the killer. All right, Miss Draco, you come down the alley. Let's go. Harry! Where is she? She's right here, George. Slowly, you're afraid. You think the killer may be following you. Look back. Fine. A few backward steps. Now turn and keep walking. <laughs> Good. I like the scream. Go ahead. All right, you're dead. Fall. Hold it. Camera one, Dolly's in for close-up. Take two, hold. And now, dissolve. You get the idea, Miss Draco? Yes. Yes, sir, thank you. You scared me. I'm sorry. George's way, realism. We're just rubber. That's nice. Okay. You can all go home. Clear the studio, except Miss Draco. I'll be down in a minute and work with her. You'll be fine, Miss Draco. Look, it's nearly midnight. Don't let George work you too hard. I will. And thanks again. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Bonnie. Huh? Ten o'clock sharp. Night. Night.
Mr. Carter. Carver, do you want me up there? The others would be here. They all went home. Look through the door. No, 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 no. You're blocking the action. Harry, show. Look. Look. Come on, Harry. Can we get on with it, Miss Draco? Yes, very well, You're but a I... witness to murder. You can't be a witness unless you look, can you? No, I'm. I'm sorry. Look. The arrangement stands. No use to think you can frighten me. If I die now, all that we've done dies with me. There's a new cat. I don't recognize any of them. Look. You fool. You can't kill me. Now, 
I'm the body. Slowly. Neil. Well, go on, Neil. Pick up the knife. Hand on his chest. Good reaction, Miss Rachel. I like that. Fine. We'll cut right there. Take a five-minute break. But he's... He's really dead. No lie, Miss Rachel. Start fresh with L and M. Stay fresh with L and M. Unlock a whole new world of fresh smoking pleasure. Start fresh, stay fresh with L and M. The touch of a light to an L and M. You unlock a whole new world of fresh smoking pleasure. Do away with dried out taste for good. The secret flavor seal. L&M's special way of moisturizing tobacco to seal in natural tobacco freshness and flavor. L&M burns slower, smokes cooler. And L&M's modern miracle tip means you get the cleanest, freshest taste possible. Unlock a whole new world of fresh smoke and pleasure. Start fresh, stay fresh with L&M. Fresh tasting, best tasting L&M in pack or box. Hello, operator. Now listen carefully. No personal calls on this phone, Miss Draco. I'm sorry. We're the night crew, you see. I'm afraid I don't see. You're new to the business, aren't you? Yes. Then you wouldn't know about the night crew. No. But it doesn't matter as long as you play your part. I'm not sure that I want to. Because you have no lines to speak. That isn't it at all. Then what is it? The knife. That was a real knife. You knew that, didn't you? Well, of course it's real. It's only during the day that time is spent play-acting. Of course it's real. But that man was killed. Did you know that too? I felt the blood and saw it on my hand. It was lying there dead and nobody paid the slightest attention.
Fine. Now the door. Miss Draco show up this morning? Not yet, George. Shall I try phoning? No, no. If she isn't here, we'll get someone else. Why do they keep sending us these miserable amateurs? Well, we'll have to start work on the second act. Get it set up, Harry. All right, George. Places, please. Act two, scene one. Stan? Yeah. What's that door doing here? That's not in our show. Where did it come from? <laughs> Tim, get it out of here. Perform with it. Get it out of here. Hello, casting. Uh, this is George Carver. Yeah. <laughs> say, uh, say that uh, Miss Draco you sent us yesterday. She didn't show up this morning. Could you send us another replacement in a hurry? Oh, and uh, 
Tell her she'll have to stay and work with me tonight after the others have gone. She may have to stay quite late. Well, I'm glad that's over. We used up four actresses during rehearsals of that last scene where the girl disappears. And now we're having trouble with their agents, who want us to give each one of them a screen credit as having starred in the show. But we can't possibly do that until their next of kin have been notified by the producer. We'll have another one for you next week at the same time. Good night and sleep well. For this week's show, an exciting dramatic coup. Three poignant scenes from all the way home. A Broadway play that recently won the Pulitzer Prize and the Drama Critics Award. As you know, All the Way Home is still making history at the Belasco Theater here in New York. Is Tad Moselle's play based on the Pulitzer Prize novel by James Agee, A Death in the Family. And the play was produced by Fred Coe in association with Arthur Cantor and directed by Arthur Penn. Now, in addition to the three scenes from the Pulitzer Prize drama All the Way Home, your living room will also serve as a stage for the comedy of Mort Saul, the songs of Jane Morgan, uh, the pianistics of piano star Roger Williams, folk singer Leon Bibb, the Limelighters, and for the youngsters, the exciting Amandis on most of these stations. So look in this week because All the Way Home is something very, very special. Thank you. This is Rod Serling, your guide for a unique odyssey in the Twilight Zone, next on most of these stations. Makeup by Dick Smith. Hairstyles by Ernest Adler. This program was pre-recorded. Paul remains speaking. <laughs>